New York Governor David Patterson appointed Kirsten Gillibrand, a uh, congresswoman from upstate New York, to replace Hillary Rodham Clinton as the next senator for the state. Um, it's an unexpected outcome. Uh, no one or very few people would have predicted this maybe even a month ago. Um, Gillibrand's a relative unknown in New York, uh, very young at uh, 42 years old, and had never run for political office until 2006 when she upset a Republican member of Congress in the 20th district. For much of this uh, unofficial campaign, Caroline Kennedy was considered the shoe-in for the appointment. Um, she abruptly withdrew on Wednesday. Uh, there's still a lot of speculation about why she made that decision. She had been openly campaigning for several weeks now and, and had been quite aggressive about it. Uh, with her withdrawal, that created a vacuum uh, for the appointment, and Kirsten Gillibrand's stock rose quite quickly. Uh, as one of the top contenders for the seat. She's only been in Congress for two years, but in that time she's really established herself as someone who's quite ambitious and who's committed to using innovation to reform government and policy making. Um, she's committed to transparency for herself on her website, posting a lot of um, information about her meetings and earmarks, for example, and promoting that in government as well. Um, she's known to be a workhorse. She worked until the day of her birth for 18-month-old son. Um, in Congress, and um, she's quite ambitious as a, you know, climbing that the policy ladder and the Washington ladder quite quickly. Well, Jill Brown has to defend the seat in 2010, um, and she's already facing some competition for that. There's a Republican congressman, Peter King, who's pledged to run in that race. There's also a Democrat, uh, Carolyn McCarthy, who is a staunch advocate of gun control and has been very upset with the appointment given that Gillibrand has uh, supported uh, gun rights in the past and has the support of the National Rifle Association. So uh, there's some people on the left that are planning on challenging her, and there's certainly a lot of Republicans that will probably jump in the race. Um, you know, the ca campaign probably is starting soon. I mean, she's going to have to start fundraising and uh, getting out there and introducing herself to voters right away because she's still relatively unknown across the state.